Early in the 20th century, an American biscuit company introduced a cookie sandwich. It was two chocolate cookies with rich vanilla icing at the center. This sandwich cookie created an instant sensation, and almost a century later, it hasn't lost its appeal. People still crave this sugary fusion of crunch and cream. Dipping the sandwich cookie in milk is a tasty tradition, and whoever started it must have been one smart cookie. Sandwich cookies start with pure granulated sugar. This worker heaps bags of it into a mixer as he prepares to whip up the batter for the wafers. He adds two kinds of cocoa. The combination will give the wafers the desired taste and color. A premix of salt and other ingredients follows. A specially formulated canola oil mixture will transform these dry ingredients into a batter as huge beaters blend everything together. They add water, and the batter starts to look like a bubbling chocolate soup. They add dry ice, which chills the batter as it evaporates. The lower temperature is key, as they add flour to thicken the batter into a dough. The dough will turn out less crumbly than it would have been if it had been kept at room temperature. A premix of leavening ingredients goes in next. One final mix, and this chocolate dough is ready to go. The worker shovels it onto a grate, which protects his fingers as he presses the dough down into a molding machine. This machine shapes the dough into cookie wafers while pressing intricate designs and the brand name onto them. It churns out an impressive 5,000 chocolate wafers an hour. The freshly molded cookie wafers now move from the silicon conveyor to a steel one. It takes the wafers into a gas oven where they travel in a continuous loop for several minutes to receive an even baking. After that, fans cool the wafers to the desired crispiness. The chocolate wafers then move to another conveyor, which feeds into a series of chutes. Then the wafers travel over ramps designed to make them fall into a certain position. One row lands plain side up, and the next lands with the embossed side up. This correctly orients them to be sandwiched around a cream filling. It's a high-speed operation as a cylindrical pump deposits the vanilla cream on the plain side of the wafers. The cream-coated wafers head over to the next station. Here, machine removes the top wafers onto the cream-coated ones. The cookies move up for the count. Mechanical fingers separate them into bunches of 11. Then grippers swing into action to move each little bunch forward. They release the cookies neatly into plastic trays. The trays, full of sandwich cookies, move on to the wrapping station. Here, metallic film unwinds and wraps around the trays. Hot jaws move in to seal the package at both ends. Finally, they're shipped to retailers. But once these sandwich cookies are in the pantry, it might be tough to keep them under wraps.